All right, welcome to chapter five. So we're gonna finish up our modeling here. Um, I'm not gonna start with what I used in chapter four. I'm gonna go ahead and open the uh, chapter five start. And you can see I saved my chapter four as chapter four working to differentiate it from the end and the start. So I like to keep my, my work and you will too when you submit it, if you're in my class. So I'm gonna make sure I do save that and it says it's a student version. That's fine with me. All right, so this is their version. And you probably wanna go ahead and save scene as um, chapter five working. Now I wanna make double sure I did not set project because I was already in this project. If you have not done that, you may, you may need to set your project, right? So if you didn't have it already open, you need to tell it, this is where we're going. So make sure that you're always set to the, the proper place or you're gonna run into some issues. All right, so this guy's got eyebrow and ear and nose and a mouth hole and, well, he doesn't have an eye, he's like an eye socket. But anyway, he Looks cool so far, but we need to add some geometry because right now if we bent him, if we put bones in him and we bent him, he would just kind of snap right here or right here at his joint. We don't want him to snap. We want him to bend gently. So we're gonna have to add in some geometry. All right, so we're gonna do this with edge loops. So first thing I'm gonna do is some edge loops around the elbow. Edit mesh and do, 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 insert edge loops and uno dose and then we're gonna do the armpits one two and we're gonna move to the wrists um one on the inside one on the outside one two let's go down to the hips and add underneath one two and the knee, one on either side, one, two. You know what, I might wanna move that one up a little bit. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm gonna go to the ankle and do one, two. The end of the, the toe, because you have the ball of your foot and it needs to roll through the ball of your foot. And do one, two. Getting close. All right, we're gonna do that the one on here at the very bottom of the foot. There. We're gonna need to do the neck. Again, this is all about creating enough geometry that so that when it bends, it bends well. It bends curvy instead of snapping or looking bizarre. So I'm gonna add a couple here in the neck. Neck does a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, and you can, so I'm just sort of <laughs> putting them down. Um, you can adjust, you may need to, so it's already selected. If you need to adjust it at that point, you can move it around after. Otherwise you'll have to reselect it all. And then I wanna move to the hands. All right, so hands are a lot of stuff, right? Because we need to do um, all of the knuckles. So get ready. Um, <clears throat> let's do three. So wherever we think the knuckle is gonna be, one, two, three. Ooh, I don't like that spacing. One, two. Three, and then add two here, one, two. And then we're gonna need to do, um, so you have to look at where your hand is, right? Like um, you want the, basically three sets of knuckles. So the tip and then somewhere in here and then back here. So I'm gonna add um, one, two, one, two, 
three, and you'll see that I'm ending up with groups of three. One, two, three. Um, could move those back a little bit, actually. These guys. Hmm. Let me just back up and, re -put, and put them back in there. <laughs> it's like, do I want to worry about grabbing them, or do I just just want to redo it? Got one, two, three. I'm gonna make them bigger. One, two, three. There we go. One. Oops, not all the way out at the top. One, two, three. And same thing here. <laughs> All right, so one, two. I'm looking at my own finger here. I'm gonna split the difference. One, two, three, and one, two, th three. There we go. It's prettier. And one. Oops, no, no, friend. Let's see, we want this finger. I'm gonna pull it from up here. One, two, and then about a third. It's like thirds, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, that's a lot of edge loops. Okay, so the last ones we're gonna do or on the torso, because he's gotta be able to bend over. <clears throat> so we got a big gap here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into thirds, like so. And there we go, he's all loopy, woohoo! Check it out. So now he's gonna actually be able to bend, which is ideal if you're a humanoid. All right, we will move on to <clears throat> cleaning up the model next video.